Today we are going to talk about introduction to the relational model, structure of relational databases, part of database management system course. The relational model is a way of organizing and storing data in a database. It is based on the idea of storing data in tables or relations that are made up of rows and columns. Each row represents a single record and each column represents a specific piece of data. In a relational database, the tables are related to each other through the use of keys. A key is a column or set of columns that uniquely identifies each row in a table. There are several types of keys, including primary key. This is a unique identifier for each row in a table. It cannot be null and must be unique across all the rows in the table. Foreign key. This is a column in a table that refers to the primary key of another table. It is used to establish a relationship between the two tables. Composite key. This is a key made up of two or more columns that together uniquely identify a row in a table. Candidate key. This is a column or set of columns that could potentially be used as a primary key. A table may have multiple candidate keys, but only one can be designated as primary key. The structure of relational database is defined by a database schema, which is a blueprint for the organization of the data. The schema defines the tables, columns, keys and relationships between the tables in the database. Relational databases are widely used because of their ability to store large amounts of data in a structured and organized manner and because they support powerful querying and data manipulation capabilities through the use of SQL. Thank you for watching.